How do you hook up solar? Today I'm gonna to show you my solar kit that I got from Signature Solar. I'm gonna talk about the components. I'm gonna talk about the wiring. I'm gonna to explain to you how to set all this up so that if you want to have solar, by the end of the video, you'll know how to put it together. You're watching Taddy Digest, I'm Tad. Let's get started. It all starts with the solar panels. The sun is hitting five grape solar 100 watt panels. And those panels are on a dual access solar tracker. And that solar tracker will track the sun to maximize the amount of power that I gain from the sun. These panels have two wires, a red and a black wire, and they go into a junction box. And then from the junction box, they go through conduit underneath the ground. And that conduit goes inside my shed. I'm gonna show you where the wire comes out and then show you all the components that go into the solar kit from Signature Solar. Inside the shed is where I keep the battery. And now, this shed is powered by solar. As you can see, there are lights right here. And now we have lights because of the solar. So here's where the wire comes into the shed. We've got two wires right here, a red and a black, that come from the solar panels. We've got another wire that contains two little wires, and those are for the controller for that dual access tracker. I'll show you the controller before we end the video. I've got little pieces of conduit held with straps around each one of the components just to keep everything separate so I know where the wires are going. So from the solar panels, we go into a DC isolator, or what I like to call a disconnect. And this is a safety device used to be able to disconnect the solar from the rest of the solar kit. Next, from the DC disconnect, we go to the Vic Victron Energy Smart Solar Charge Controller. It's an MPPT 7515, so 15 amp. Then, from the MPPT charge controller, you can see where it says PV, negative and positive, so it's labeled. That's really nice. We've got the two wire terminals where the PV array comes into the charge controller. Then, from there, we've got two terminals lab labeled battery, so, and it's negative and positive. So, you know, black is commonly negative. Red, commonly positive. From the MPPT charge controller, we then go into a distributor. This is a Victron Energy Blue Power Lynx distributor, 1000 DC. The reason we have this is to keep everything looking nice, having a good way to connect all the wires and connect all the components to each other. So we go from the charge controller to the distributor. Then we go from the EG4 400 amp hour battery to the distributor. Then we go from the distributor to the inverter or from the inverter to the distributor. So all three of these components, the charge controller, the inverter, and the EG4 battery are connected together via the distributor. So this is just our distribution center, right? Now, we've got the Victron Energy Pure sine wave inverter, Phoenix 12, 1200 watt. And right here on the end of it, we've got our AC output. You can see right here, this is where this plug is. You can see my lights just went out. Why? Because this plug is wired from our inverter to a breaker box. Why? Because I want more safeties. I have a breaker that's 15 amp for my uh, receptacles. And I've got, I've got receptacles inside and outside. And then I've also got a breaker for my lights inside and outside. So let's go over the Gerbo GX. This is a monitoring system and it is super nice. I have yet to hook this up and I actually use the Bluetooth app, but this is a way you can actually monitor your system with your phone via an app wherever you're at. So this is something really cool and this is a monitoring solution for your solar kit. So we got our EG4 battery. This thing is super nice. We got a screen right here, come take a look. It'll light up and it'll give you the percentage of the battery, the voltage. It's 51% charged. We've got our negative and our positive, so it's hooked up. But that is all of the components required. You'll need a few different tools, but super simple to hook up 
I think if you're a DIY uh, guy or gal, you'll be able to get this hooked up with very minimal tools. But when you do hook up to the distributor, you need to make sure you have something called ring terminals. Now, Signature Solar has kits for grid tied systems, off grid systems, mobile systems if you've got an RV, and they've got systems under $15,000. If you guys want to order a system and you have an order over $500, you can use the discount code TADDY50 for $50 off. Check out the link in the description and definitely use the discount code so you can get a discount. The EG4 battery, the distributor, the charge controller, the disconnect, the inverter, and the Gerbo GX. All these are the components that I use to be able to have lights in my shed. I'm going to show you the dual access solar tracker, but I wanted you to see the box that the solar panels came in so you know grape solar. That's the solar panels we're using. I'm going to show you now the dual access tracker and that controller. This is EcoWorthy's dual access solar tracker. And we've got a sunshine sensor that helps us to be able to track the sun right here. Then we've got a wind speed sensor that helps us to know when there's a high wind condition so that it can tell the controller and that controller can move the dual access solar tracker to a safer position. If you wanna know how to program the controller, assemble the panels, or assemble the whole dual access solar tracker, I've got those videos for you to learn more down in the link in the description. If you wanna purchase this dual access solar tracker from EcoWorthy, go check out the website and use the code TADDY30 for a $30 discount. The size of my shed is eight foot wide and 16 foot long. If you wanna see a video on how to move a shed, I did a video on how I moved my shed and I talked about the best way to move these types of sheds. Go check out the link in the description. I put a video there so you can learn how I move my shed. Also, you can notice that I spray foam my shed. I want it to be very well insulated. So I found a spray foam kit that is a do-it-yourself, a scalable kit that's very affordable. If you want to see a video on how to spray foam a shed like this, I'll put that video down below so you can learn how to spray foam a shed. The reason that I got a solar kit from Signature Solar was so that I could power my shed and power my aquaponic system. Over here, next to my shed, is where my aquaponic system is going to be. I'm going to show you how I'm going to power the water pumps and how I'm going to power the air pumps. I've got a receptacle right here on the side of my shed. And this is the receptacle that I'm going to use to power those pumps. If you want to see the aquaponic system, definitely stay tuned and check out my playlist, Taddy's Homestead and Garden. You've been watching Taddy Digest. I'm Tad, and I'll keep you powered up if you let me.